Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, we are changing things up just a little bit because as you guys know, I actually don't do create a sim that much here on my channel. So I really wanted to have fun with this and I was actually tagged to do the Rainbow Mermaid Edition create a sim challenge by Evelyn here on YouTube. So actually you guys, I'm really looking forward to doing this and I did need a reason to actually download some more CC. I mean, don't we always need a reason? <laughs> so originally I did go over just to get like some more like skin tones and a couple like um, hair recolors and then I ended up being over there you guys for like two freaking hours. And then I seen that Jen Urban Sims had just recently went on a little bit of a shopping spree as well. And I was like, oh my gosh, I found so many items. So what I am going to do is I will be leaving a bunch of links in the description. But if there is absolutely anything that I did forget to post, you guys will find everything over on my Tumblr. So you can just find it. There is a link in the description. It's just Kristen Marie XO. And you guys, if it goes in my game, I reblog it. So I'm like reblogging. Sometimes I even like reblog things that I don't put in my game. Just that I think maybe some of you guys that follow me um, over on Tumblr will enjoy. So I really had so much fun with this. And I feel like the best thing about doing the rainbow sim challenge is using like pink skin tones and like blue skin tones and purple. Because, I mean, how often are you actually able to do something like that? Like, over at 100 Baby, I can't have, like, a purple skin sim. So that was definitely a lot of fun to do just because I actually really enjoy mermaids and fairies. And when we actually do get the Realm of Magic later this fall, this year, I am hoping that that does include fairies because, you guys, I really enjoy playing with, like, those kind of life states. So... I do have a link in the description that I will be putting. It's this where I got like most of the mermaid stuff for like all of the ears that you guys are going to see. There's like, I think there's like eight, maybe like eight or so different like ear types for mermaids. And there's even like fins and stuff like that. And there's like top scales. And that was actually like kind of a little bit of a lottery find over on Tumblr because somebody had put this like master list of mermaid CC. So that is probably going to be where um, you guys will be finding like most of those scales. So I do put the scales on, I think I put it on the red, the red sim and then I don't know if I put it on the purple or the pink. But they're actually really freaking cool and they go completely all over their skin. So they're like all over their face all day on their body and one thing that I do want to point out you guys that I didn't even realize until I edited the thumbnail because I've already done the thumbnail at this point is that the pink and purple sim have the exact same freaking hair I don't know how I ended up overlooking that and I'm just like wait a minute <laughs> that's how you know you really love um, a custom content piece of hair is when you use it twice in a seven sim create a sim so Hopefully you guys don't mind that and I do actually go like back and forth because some of them I wanted to keep the makeup down a little bit and then some I went a little bit overboard with like eyeliners and I think I do go back in and take off that purple because I thought it was like a little bit too much and then I think I just gave her like a really thick winged liner. So she actually has the fins that go behind her ears and one thing that I can say, you can see right there, all of those like white mannequin looking ears, those are actually like on one download. So the only thing about downloading those mermaid and like thin looking ears is you can't like change how they are. Like if you are on ears, if you want to pull them forward some, you can't do that. Or I actually wasn't able to. So one thing that I did realize is I do need to get some more swimwear. And each of these sims, I did go ahead and do their swimwear and then I did their mermaid form. So they do look the same as a mermaid, but I did go ahead and like give them a matching tail. And I think I need to look and see if there are like some more of the like recolors of the tails because I have seen a ton of actual like tails that you can use for custom content. And the only reason that I did not use those is because 
if they're just kind of one of those things that like you can use it as a skirt so if you're walking on land that you will like have a tail and I didn't want to do that because I do really like how the mermaids are in game that the only time they are a mermaid is when they are around water because it makes sense I mean if you have a mermaid walking around on the sand technically they would be dying because they need water I think <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of why I have not downloaded any tails because all I am looking for right now is recolors to the ones that we have. And if you guys have any links to that, definitely tag me over on Twitter or actually like post it over in my Discord. So there is the seven different colors of the mermaids and you guys, now I kind of want to do mermaid like, I don't know if I want to do mermaids, maybe like opposite mermaids or something like that. but. Yeah, this hair too, I did just download and I am obsessed with it. All of like the gradient colors, especially that green and the pink and the purple, those ones are like so beautiful. Now this sim in particular, I actually do go back in you guys because I started off doing light blue and then I do go back in and change up her hair to give her like the dark blue hair at the absolute very end of the video. I kind of felt like she was a little bit too light for a rainbow just because I pictured like super dark blue in a rainbow. So I do go back in and change that. Now some of them are a little bit more like fancier than others and I definitely wanted to like pull in a little bit of personality with that. And you guys, these mermaid crowns, I used them I think on like three of the sims because there's actually a lot of different color variations. There's some that's like super bright and pink and then there even is like a black and white one and then this blue one here has like some gold like yellow gold on it as well so I did place that on now one thing that I was a little bit stressed about was I did download like a flower crown that was supposed to go with one of the hairs that I downloaded and I could not find it and I'm kind of thinking maybe it was a little bit of like a recolor oh my gosh you can see I even downloaded this skin overlay that was supposed to just kind of give your skin a tone around the edge of it but it kind of just made them look sick <laughs> so I didn't really end up using that and these are the green scales that I was talking about so they actually do come in a lot of different colors and when I say a lot of different colors I mean like there's a whole list of colors that you can choose there's like four different colors of like green and pink and I love that they go completely like all over your sim. So one thing that you do need to keep in mind, wait, mind, I can't even talk, but one thing that you do need to keep in mind when you are creating a mermaid that there is this new link version. So if you wanna have your sim look the same as human to mermaid, you are gonna wanna make sure that they are linked. And then after you have it completely finished, if there's anything that you wanna change about your sim, on like the specific version you can unlink it and just kind of change it that way oh my gosh <laughs> you guys are probably hearing notifications I'm like trying to turn my sound off but I don't think it's um I don't think it's working so yeah you can see the tails there really is a lot of different tails that we have but I do find that they kind of look the same like we have four different tail selections to choose from some of them are basic they just look like a goldfish tail and then some of them have like lights on them or like glittery kind of versions and then some of them are a little bit more fancier but they all basically have like the same designs on all of them so I definitely really need to make it my mission to find some new ones because as you guys know in my 100 baby challenge series we're actually gonna be moving I believe into the island of Sulani and I feel like we are definitely gonna be seeing a lot of mermaids so I am probably gonna need to do a little bit of like some county makeovers um, over there as well so yeah you can see I do have a lot of stuff now one of the things that you do download with that master mermaid list is antennas so one thing that I was thinking about adding was those but then I kind of felt like maybe they were a little bit more fairy like or like bugsy so I actually did not include them and it actually does download this really adorable set of fairy wings so I mean can you put fairy wings on a mermaid I mean you can and it does look adorable <laughs> but I ended up deciding against it a little bit yeah so this one here you guys I actually went in and first I went over on the mermaid form and then I chose one of the pre-made faces because I mean I definitely feel like mermaids do have like their own very unique 
mermaid. I don't know. I don't know exactly what you would say, but they definitely do or what I picture mermaids to look like are not actual humans. Like they either have like colored eyes, maybe they glow a little bit. And for this creatism, I actually skipped the glowing eyes and gave them matching eyes to like their tone. So if they are orange, they have orange eyes. If they are pink, they have pink eyes. So one thing that I also have been considering as well is doing maybe like some berry sims. I think that would definitely be quite fun to do. And I actually haven't been able to do like berry sims in a while. I do have a let's play over on Twitch where we have like the not so berry, but I'm talking like full on like strawberry shortcake inspired kind of like create a sim stuff. So I really do hope that you guys did enjoy this because honestly, it was so much fun getting back into create a sim for a little bit. I will also be leaving links in the description. So also, if there is anything that you guys are not able to find, you will see everything over on my Tumblr. So it's Kristen Marie XO. It is very freaking organized by like hair type, male um, create a sim stuff. There's like toddlers, skin overlays, accessories, all of that stuff so you will find everything including stuff that um, is not in my video <laughs> so I also did download like a bunch of eyebrows as well so if that is something you guys are looking for you will find a ton over there as well so make sure that if you guys do want to see me attempt to do more creative sim videos in the future let me know because honestly it's been a minute since I have sat down and really enjoyed doing a video like this. So leave any kind of ideas that you would like to see me do if it is challenges. Now one thing that I really do enjoy is the random genetics, but I don't really enjoy doing it too much. I mean, it's always fun, but I do like doing these kind of challenges. I feel like I'm repeating myself <laughs> just a little bit, but um, yeah, so I really do hope that you guys did enjoy this seven sim rainbow mermaid edition create a sim i will have them in the gallery as well so if you guys do want to download them my username over there in the gallery is kristen Rieto. so you are just going to want to make sure that you have your modded items clicked so that you can find it because these are completely decked out all in custom content and you're probably going to end up finding a lot more custom content that is like mermaid edition because as soon as i am done this voiceover i think i'm actually going to go back over to tumblr and do a little bit more like custom content shopping so i always use the sims or ts4cc mm for like custom content maxis match or i will just type in like Sims 4 MMCC. So those are usually like the tags that I use. Once in a while, I will go on Pinterest, but I really try to stay away from there because I feel like it's a little bit of a mess to like sit down and custom content shop over there because there's so many different links that you have to go through to get like one item. And Sims Resource, once in a while, I can find stuff over there, but I find majority of that is definitely alpha. And oh my gosh, yeah. Let me know if you guys would like to see me do like a Maxis Match version to Alpha Create a Sim because I think that could definitely be pretty interesting considering I did start out as Alpha here on my channel like two years ago. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I had so much fun doing this and a huge thank you to Evelyn for tagging me in doing this Create a Sim challenge. Make sure to give this a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know you guys did enjoy and hopefully I'm going to see you all next time. Bye guys.